Hi, y'all. Come on in, come on in, come in. This is Hubbelly Ro and D channel, and I am Ro. Um, if you're liking this, please um, like the video, share, and subscribe. So today I'm going to review one of these Vegetables Chopper Pros. Now, I went by the Amazon um, comments and they had over 200 or 22,000 and something for four and a half star reviews. So, we're going to show you this and we're going to unbox it. I'm live. <gasps> well, not live, on video. So, this is what it comes in. Lower. So it has a little thing here that says, Keep away from children. Be careful with your fingers. The blades are very sharp. Duh! Are you kidding me? And it's got this doohickey on it. This doohickey's for. Hmm. I guess it's for cleaning it or something. Lower, that's tighter than a frog's butt. So, I'm going to put this over here because I'm sure I'm, I won't need it. So, they, they, I don't know what this is. Um, this is one of them things that they say be careful because the blades are sharp. So, it comes with one of these. I guess it's just like quarter your, um, if you want to make potato wedges or big french fries or quarter up your tomato. Oh, they, y'all, this I don't understand. Why they gotta have all this plastic? Everybody complain about the globe and all this, but then you buy something and it's got all this plastic. Oh, they got this little doohickey here too. That must do uh, sliced tomatoes. And I just touched it and it didn't cut me. I mean, I guess my fingers are too whatever. All those years of doing nursing and wearing gloves. So then I got this one. Okay. That makes little cubes. I don't know if you can see it. Makes little cubes. So you got a cube one. A uh, slicer one and a quarter one. Okay, okay, we're gonna try this out today. We're gonna try it out today, y'all. Oh, okay. Oh, it's got one in there, and I guess that's to make small, small cubes. Like if you want to make tomato, potato, a brown, or anything like that. And this says push this way. Okay, it locks in place. So you push it that way or that way to lock it. Oh, this is the cleanest little thingamajiggy. I got it. Y'all, yeah, one brain cell life support. Yep, still going on. So it has a pusher, a large dicer, a small dicer, a wavy blade. Oh, if you want to make wavy potatoes. And a cross blade. Okay. Then it shows you how to do it. Insert the pusher into the whatever. Insert it. It's already inserted, you idiots. How do you want me to insert it? It's already there. Does it come out? Oh, it does come out. I want on the back. You got this doohickey here, too. Oh, they got a lot of things, don't they? So you insert it, underside cover first, align nodes. Okay, this stays in. I don't know why they made it movable then. Okay, well, 
Oh, and it goes in this little box to catch all your stuff. So I'm going to clean this and we'll be right back and do some carrot. And we're back. So I took it apart and I cleaned it real good. Um, I don't like using nothing that I don't wash first because um, that's just nasty. I don't care who you are, that's nasty. I even wash my potatoes with soap and water because um, some people grow them in, in um, duty and, well, I don't want to taste nobody's duty. Now how's this doohickey going there? Um, no, it goes hot water. Hmm. It's supposed to set in there. Now, huh, this has already become a pain in my butt. I could already had two, two carrots chopped up. That goes in there. It's just too big. Well, that one's too big to fit in there. Maybe I have it upside down. Duh. Y'all, I had it upside down. So the first one we're going to use is this one. And, um, we're going to see how this works. Well, that wasn't nice. Oh, it goes this way. Okay. So it goes that way. Well, y'all know carrots are hard to cut. So I cut these up and I'm going to see how good they are. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that was easy, y'all. Oh, let's do a couple at a time. Because, you know, I ain't got all day. When you're cooking a dinner for 20 people, you don't be on all day being, oh, do 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 No, you, you want to make sure you get your stuff done. Too many. Oh, they're gonna have to fit. Oh, they did too. They fit right in there. Let's try them that way. Now, it does take a lot of force to do two of these, so let's try one. If you do one at a time, it's easy. If you do two at a time, it's a pain in the butt. So, I'm going to do a couple more of these, and then we're going to move over to the taters. Well, that sucks. Nope. The doohickey came apart, but no piece come out. No pieces broke off. Oh, I'm gonna have to read the directions. I hate reading directions. Yeah, it came apart. But that's what the carrots look like. They're little Julia carrots. So I'm going to put these back here in this bowl. And I'm going to put... I'll be right back, y'all, because i got to figure out this machine. I'm back, y'all. Well, I figured it out. What happened was this thing goes up and down. Well, if it does that, it comes apart. So you have to make sure that's always back towards the back. 
Oh, I, th I was very sad. Oh, this is a piece of duty. So I'm going to take a potato. Because we're going to have potatoes tonight. So. I probably need to cut these too. Which I was trying not to do. I figured this thing would be better than having to sit here and chop vegetables. Well, that one was easy. That one was easy. So I'm going to put these in some water back here. But we're going to try out a different blade. Let's go with this real small, small one. Got to remember to point things up. Get this cleaned out. I don't throw away no food, y'all. I don't care. Now my my ends and stuff that like that go to scrap. But food's, food's too expensive to throw away. If my husband makes something on the grill and he's done eating it, I can it. Oh, maybe this got to be turned around the other way. Let's see. Nope. Let's figure this one out too, girl. Okay, I was wrong. It's got, it's got to be that way. But we're going to cut these in half. We're going to cut these in half. Sophia, that's enough motor mouth. Oh, maybe you got to slam it down. Get angry with it. Smack it like a husband when he said, when you cut home, he said, can you put some sketty on the oven? He come home and he put a box of sketty on the oven. Didn't even cook the sketty, just put the box on the oven. Well, you only told me to put the box on there. Yeah, that's how you have to get with one of these. Be like, dang it, you did it again. So I'm going to finish these potatoes, and then um, we'll look. We're going to try another one. I'm going to try this little, little slicey, slicey thing. I don't know how this is going to work now, especially with the tater. Taters are, are, um, are different. So... Let's cut that tater. And y'all, I know some of y'all are going to be like, oh, don't do that with your knife. I never been doing my knife that way my whole life. The only time I ever cut myself was when my sister says, don't cut yourself, and then I cut myself. Jinx me, y'all. Jinx me. So this one works pretty good, too. And I like doing homemade mashed potatoes. I don't like doing store-bought mashed potatoes, personally. That's my opinion. But it made the little ones perfect little little pieces. Um, it made the small, the small uh, tic-tac-toe one look like that. That would be something like you put a... Um, Like, if you want to make, um, oh, I got that one brain cell on life support that's not working. Hash browns. These would be perfect for hash browns. Now, these would be perfect for a tomato, in my opinion. But, you know, opinions are like buttholes. Everybody's got one. These would be different for, um, I'm on, I did my carrots this way because I'm, I'm going to freeze my carrots. But this is a pretty good size if you're going to make homemade mashed taters. So I'm going to put all these up where they need to go. Oh, I got water behind y'all. That's what you hear. I'm not over here peeing in my pants, I promise. So this little doohickey, after I finally figured it out, it is a good purchase. Now I purchased this myself. Nobody... I did not get anything free from anybody. I think it was $32. Or, no, it was $29. 
off Amazon, and this is the M-U-E-L-L-E-R, the Mueller brand. And I got this because I have a doctor, and he has, there was 13 of them, and all of them become doctors, except two, and they're lawyers. <laughs> but his last name's Mueller. And every time I buy something like this, it seems like a very good, good, good um, product. And as you can tell, even, even my coffee pot is Mueller. I stick by that brand because I've never had a problem out of it. It's inexpensive, but it is good quality, and it lasts. And at the end of the day, that's what we want. We want something that we can afford. We want something that's going to last. We want something that has good quality because you don't want to buy no junk. Ain't nobody wanting to spend no money on stuff they didn't have to spend. Plus, you have to replace it, and you have to... Oh, Amazon, it broke. Oh, I got to take it to cools or uh, uh, somewhere and drop it off. Well, I don't drive. I'm blind. I'm legally blind. My vision is 2140. I'm legally blind. I cannot drive. Um, so, y'all, this is a good product. I would buy it again. I might buy one for our van, our camper. Um, because a lot of times we out there, I'm chop, 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 chop suey. But this is a very good, it would be a good investment. And as y'all know, I cook everything from scratch. Everything from scratch. So if this saves me from having to use a knife constantly, thank you, Jesus. But at the end of the day, you got to trust what you trust. But as I always say, y'all, say your prayers. Pray for your enemies. And be humble. Because what we're praying for, somebody else has. Is what we have, somebody else is praying for. Whether that be a new car or a bigger house. What we have, it don't matter. My house is small. It's 700 square feet. Um, That's why my kitchen is nothing but a gallery. I do nothing in this kitchen except cook. Now one day, if y'all want me to, I'll take you down and show you my my pantry downstairs in the basement so if you want me to y'all got a comment that you want to see that and i will show you my pantry in the basement but at the end of the day say your prayers pray for your enemies and remember i love you like follow and share thank you i'll be back in a little bit doing that pie